All right, so we're ready to uh, put the valves back, the new valves, back in the head. Um, so Aiden's joining me again. Hello. We got, uh, I cleaned off a lot of the carbon that was in here. It's not spotless, but it's a lot better than it was. Yeah. I'm not really gonna worry about cleaning down in these passages here, so. So anyways, these are all the new parts for the, uh, that came in the kit. It came with these two shims. It came with four springs, two inner and two outer springs, two new valve stem seals, four keepers, uh, two of these, whatever you want to call these things, and of course the valves themselves. So everything's pretty self-explanatory except for these shims, but I noticed that they actually were on here on the bottom. So I already took that one off. If you look real carefully, you can yeah. actually see, you can spin it. So yeah. that's actually the, uh, that shim. So the shims go on the bottom. The keeper from Harry Potter. Yeah, I don't know what that means. In Harry Potter, there's a person who, in Quidditch. I thought put, that was the seeker. No, there's a seeker and then. Do you know what the Keebler is? Keeblers live in trees in the forest. You don't know? You've never heard of a Keebler? Really? They bake cookies. That sounds like a They're elves. The Keebler elves. Wow. How sad you're not aware of that. Okay. So, what we're going to do is... I wish I had grabbed a little bit of tape because I just realized... One of the things that's nice to do is to be able to stick these valves in and not have them falling out constantly. So, stick that in. I usually put a piece of tape on there. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do before I put this valve in is I'm just gonna put a little, a little dab of uh, this assembly lubricant on the stem, on the valve stem. So, what this is, this is used for when you're assembling engines and all the parts are all clean and they have no oil on them. There's no lubrication. So what happens when you put this all together, if you don't use this, when you start the engine, when it first starts, all of these parts are moving and nothing's lubricating them because it takes, there's a delay before it starts pumping oil up to the top end. There's an oil pump inside that unit. If it's working correctly, it'll pump oil up through these galleys right here. That's why these holes are bigger than these two, because these are used to actually pump oil up in there. And then the oil from gravity falls back down into the, into the engine. All right, the idea is hopefully we don't want metal, bare metal on bare metal contact before it has a chance to get oil on it. So what this this little bit of lubricant does is it it'll protect it a little bit. Let's see. I'm gonna say that the exhaust. I'm sorry, the intake valve. The larger one's easier because we have all this room. So let's do that one first, so we can build up a false sense of security and confidence. because I got a feeling we might have a little bit of trouble with this other one. All right, so I'm going to take one of these new uh, valve seals, valve stem seals, and I'm gonna pop that on there. It's a tight fit because it's, it's a new one, so I'm just gonna put a little bit of that lube on the edge there. Mm -hmm. So hopefully this will just pop right on. Trying to avoid damaging the new valve seal. There we go. Now I'm gonna run this through. I'm turning it as I run it through. Actually, those new valve seals mm -hmm. are so good. 
that we don't need the tape to hold those valves in. That'll work. So, go ahead and put one of those shims on. All right. And go ahead and put the two, well. These? Yeah, you know, we're probably going to want to compress them. Put them. We'll put them right in the valve compressor now. And then we'll. Both of them? Yeah. All right, here comes the tricky part. All right. There we go. <laughs> That's not going to work. Why? Uh, forgot to put this on. <laughs> Capiche? Where does this go? Goes on the top. Go ahead, drop it right on the top of that. There you go. You think about it. How we have? How would we get that in there if we're if we're compressing on top of that? You know what I mean? Now nah, we're cooking. Okay. Oh, unhappy sound. So I have to push down that inner spring manually by just pushing down on the whole thing. Hopefully I can compress that though. See what I mean? Mm -hmm. So the question is, hold on. Alright, so we gotta get compressed more than that. You gotta be careful that nothing goes flying out. If this slips off. It'll, uh, it'll send it flying at high rate of speed. All right, so now let's see if you can get, see if you can drop those in there. Just drop, like, my hands are too big for that. Yeah, hold on. Let's stop. I got a better idea. Let me show you, just so we know how we're doing it on this one. All right, so... They go like this. I know. Like that. I know. So there's a little groove. There's not a groove. There's a little uh, ridge on there that sits in the groove on the valve. So the skinny part faces down. The wide part faces up. That's what I was doing. I'm just making sure. Because you were asking me. My experience is if you're asking me, because you don't know. I know usually you say I know to everything, even when you don't know. So, rather than sitting here wondering what the heck's taking so long while I hold this down. It's really not going in. It went the other way. Okay. It's too small. My hands don't fit All right. There. Let me grab some tweezers. You can use tweezers, okay? All right, these tweezers have an angle, so they should be able to get out of the way. So you hold it like this. That way you can drop it right down in there. Mm -hmm. So let me know when you're ready. There's one. Uh, uh, almost. Wait, wait. Oh, it just had it. Yeah, I don't know. Go ahead and try it one more time. That doesn't work when it's try a different plane of attack. See, they're not they're not down far enough. Yeah, they both didn't go down far enough. Yeah, right. So that means that this isn't working. Not only that, but see how that's getting ready to. Yeah. It's gonna shoot out the stuff that's inside of it. What stuff? The the things are inside of it. What's that? All right, let's try this again. This spring is fully compressed now. You can't even see any light in there. If I put it on like this without the inner spring, it seems like there's plenty of... Uh... Yeah, it looks like there's plenty of room, right? Yeah. All right, let's get this stuff off to the side. You want to try it like that? And this is going to be the easier of the two. Can you believe that? 
You want to try it like that? Try what? Like this. Well, then it'll be in there, and then how are you going to get that in? Magic. So we need to. We have to use both springs. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. No, you just pushed the valve down. I did? Yep. Maybe that's what happened. Maybe it was pushed down a little bit. Now it seems like you get a mile of room. It's really popping. Okay, all right. Get what you need to get and reset because I can't. Because I'm fighting this inner spring. It's a small spring, but it's still strong enough that I can't just, you know, hold it forever. Let me know when you're ready. Are you yeah, ready? Yeah. I think I got that one in a little bit. There we go. I'm just going to get the other one. There we go. All right, move it, move it. Well, with like that space I'm seeing in there now. Yeah, this one's curved out a little bit. It did a little bit. A little bit. A little bit ain't gonna do it. If this comes flying off after we take the spring compressor off, it's gonna go up. Shatter what's left of that light. Well, that light's plastic, so. But, trust me. It's not going to be pretty. I'm putting this rag over. Because if it does give way, I'm hoping we can avoid those little keepers from flying away. Being lost forever. Did you see? Take a look. I guess so. I'm just very surprised. What's what I find unnerving is the large space in between the two keepers right there. So let's go right now. It'll smash the camera lens. New camera. Looks like you're doing a CPR. Yeah. I'm doing it. I'm seeing. I guess that's how they go, though. Well. Now we're going to get the other one. How are we going to do that? Same way we did this one, only the problem with this one is, because I remember from when we worked on it, Why this, did they put this that damn thing? thing right there. Strength. I'm assuming it has something to do with strengthening the casting. Or maybe it has something to do with making sure oil flows a certain way. You know? Because yeah. oil's being pumped up into this head and it's squirting around in here and then it... By design, it's supposed to run back down. I think it runs back down here, actually. Yeah. Well, yeah. not going to be enough. So we can't do it this way. So we can forget about this. Oh. What we need is we need a different style of valve spring compressing tool. We need a... V... It's more of a C. It's a C clamp, is essentially what it is. It's it's the small little version of the big giant thing that I have, which we can't use on this head. Why? Because it's too big. Can't we compress it down with wood? Where is that? Where is that? Well, if I was strong enough to hold it down, I got a brake tool I could compress it with, but... That's what I said first. What? I said that when we were taking them out. Wow. But how are we going to put these in? We can't. Well, the brake tool's got an opening. You can't. You can't. That's the larger size. <laughs> you're going to stick through that little hole, you're going to reach in there, and you're going to get that? I'm not. No, you're not. 
not only that, but I would have to compress the force of both springs and hold it while you try and do that. That's why that's not working. I tried that really big valve spring compressor, didn't I? No. Might not work. Might not work. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Do you mean it might work? Maybe. Might not work means you think there's a high probability it'll work. Why is the screw bent? Huh? Why is it bent? I don't know. You know how old this is? I don't even think this is going to close up far enough to... Yeah, it doesn't. It won't close That's closed up. max. That's max right there. No, because the screw's bent. How does it work? This actually pushes on the valve. The face of the valve. So this goes like this. This sits in here like this. This isn't going to work either. Yeah, you can put the cloth right there. Right here. You don't understand. This is made to reach over this and down in there. You see how it can't do that? Because it's way too big for this head. But this is what we need. We need this type of valve spring compressor. But this is for big engine. Okay? This is for a V8. Look. I'm thinking, I'm going to need something to hold this head up. When it slips off, you're going to get hurt. Not if it slips off, it slips off. When it slips off. I have, I have my doubts this is going to work. See, that almost, that almost looks like it would work. You know, you got to get it from the back. Look, you see how the, there's no room there? Yeah. But see right here from this side? Yeah. See if you can do that. Although I don't know how the hell we're going to get the other side in. Alright, now rotate it around the back side. There you go. Now drop the other one in. I'm trying my best. That one go in? No. I just dropped it. Where'd it go? Drop down below underneath the wrench on the head. Reposition that one first. There you go. I'll rotate it back. Did it go in? No. This plier slipped off the edge. That's what that noise was. And you got it backwards. <laughs> All right, hold on. Let me know when you're ready. Mm -hmm. Slipped off. Hold on. That would that would have worked. And where did it go? That's the problem. All right. Don't move. Back up. I see it. You sure? All right. That was close. Let me just put these jaws just a little bit further together. Okay. Let me know when you're ready. Move over here somewhere. I thought it would be better with the jaws not being able to move, but that's twice now that, that it slipped off. And we're pushing our luck. There it is right there. Go ahead. Were you waiting for something? Cause Nothing. I couldn't get in there. Okay, all right. Hold your on. Hand was in yeah, there. let me uh, see if I move this this way if it helps. If I'm here, is it going to be in your way? No. Oh! It's getting, like, magnetic. Son of a... That was so close. Yeah, it was like magnetic. It's not. Put it down on the bench. No, yeah. these are stainless. The, the, this, it's impossible. That's not what's happening. What? Look at it. This one's upside down now. It is. Get it out of there then. Oh. All right. One more try. I'm just kidding. The junk out from in there. Are you ready? That one's in. Get the other one. You're both in. Not good enough, right? It's that same weird alignment. This one needs to be pushed in a little bit more. You think so? Yes, I can see a separation. You 
it's actually it's the same see there's a gap there. yeah but when you looked at it this side it was like a little bit off you could see it now they're perfectly lined up i think that's it they're in now we need that Woo. you realize i could probably go online and find the uh correct tool for doing that it's probably like twenty dollars for that tool the version of this that's for these heads <laughs> and why would we do that well, just saying would have made life a lot easier